Matt from Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of our Ballistic Gel Block Test Series, looking at the 38 Special, and in particular, we're looking at the Remington Golden Sabre this time. This is a standard pressure loading of, of this bullet, and the Golden Sabre is a little bit unique bullet. Uh, it, it does have a golden outer jacket on it instead of a copper color jacket. Uh, the other unique thing about this bullet is there's a taper built into this. And what happens is these bullets are typically loaded right down to this and then crimped. And that yields less of this bullet down in the case. Uh, theory is that as these go down the barrel, less of this bullet in contact with the rifling, which decreases the resistance and actually allows this thing to fly faster than other similar bullets that don't have, uh, that have a full length uh, contact surface uh, in the Let's in get turned around here, take a look at the loading. We'll go out to the range and see how it does, and then we'll be back out here for some comments. So here's a quick look at the loading. Uh, a light, unique powder, CCI small pistol primers, and this Remington 125 grain bullet. Uh, I no longer have the box for that since this is an older loading. Uh, one note, these bullets were weighing in um, heavy, heavier than the 125 uh, grain listed weight. Uh, some of these are weighing in as heavy as 126.3, 126.4. Others are coming in at, at 125.4, 125.5, and pretty much everywhere in between there. So uh, just a note, when you look at the retained weights on, uh, on my spreadsheet, most of them are over 125 grains uh, that, that we would be expecting on these. But uh, all right, let's get out to the range, take a look at these, see what they did in the gel block, and get back in. So here. next up in our 38 special uh, gel block testing series, I'm gonna be changing it up a little bit. I'm moving away from the Hornady bullets that I've been testing temporarily uh, to try this uh, Remington Golden Sabre 125 grain load. Uh, I've had this loaded up for several years uh, for 38 special, and uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what this thing does in the gel block. I mean. We, we kind of expect what we're going to get out of the, out of the XTP bullets. Uh, maybe the expansion uh, is a little less, or maybe the penetration is a little less, but this is a completely different design bullet, and I'm curious to see how this thing does in these five different barrel lengths. So let's get started off. Uh, Rossi R92 20-inch. And can you believe we did not get a velocity on that one? And second shot for Rossi, just to get a velocity. Twelve twenty-four point zero. All right. So I have the setting set for the faster velocity on the Garmin, and let's go see what this one did. All right, so here's our wound track starting. And uh, track this thing down through here. Looks like we've got about 14 and three quarters inches. And looks like it has expanded fairly nicely. So, uh, you know, not the big uh, dynamic uh, expansion pattern from the XTP bullet, but we did get a nice solid expansion on this. I don't see any fragments off. So I'll be curious to, uh, to get this dug out and see what the retained weight is. All right, let's go back and check the other ones. All right, Remington Golden Saver out of the uh, six and a half inch Taurus Tracker. Velocity of 969.9. Lots of nines in there. All right, this is our wound channel for this one. And uh, again, we got nice quick expansion on this thing. I do see a few lead shards in the wound track down through here. And we do have some nice spiral rotation on this thing. So this bullet has turned backwards 
and it looks like we are at about 16 and a half inches of penetration. It just barely crossed over into the second block. So, all right guys, that was the six inch, six and a half inch Taurus tracker. Let's go try that Ruger GP100 with five inch. All right, 38 special with the Remington Golden Sabre 125 grain out of the Ruger GP100, five inch barrel. Velocity of 896.2. Let's go see what our catch look like. All right, so this is our wound track right here. Comes on down, looks like our bullet has flipped over at this point. And here we are at 20 and a half inches the penetration with zero expansion. That was the Ruger GP100 with a five inch barrel. All right, next up is the Rossi RP63 with a three inch barrel. Velocity of 879. It's really close to where the five inch velocity was. Let's go see if we got a catch. So our wound track for the three inch starts right here. Uh, it tracks across, actually comes up above the wound track from the five inch and is the one on top now. There's the bullet from the five inch and there is the bullet from the three inch. Looks like we did a, a flip over right there toward the end. Doesn't appear to be any substantial expansion, if any. And we wanna give our overall penetration to about 24 and a half inches. All right, guys, not real impressive results out of that bullet. Uh, at these two uh, two little bit slower velocities. So let's go see what the two inch does. Next up is the Remington Golden Sabre 125 grain loaded in 38 special. This will be fired out of the Rossi two inch snub nose. Velocity of 885. Point three. This two, three, and five inch barrel velocities were all extremely close. All right, so we're looking at this wound track right here and this comes, comes across, uh, no significant expansion and takes a nose dive down right here and looks like we are finished up right here at about 20 inches of penetration. So, all right, guys, that's the Remington Golden Sabre. Uh, below 900 foot per second, we got practically zero expansion from a five inch barrel and down. Looks like we barely got expansion on the six and a half inch bullet. And looks like the 20 inch rifle performed well. So definitely not the consistent expansion that we were seeing out of the, out of the standard uh, XTP bullets. Uh, I do have a Hornady 125 grain XTP loaded up and it will be my next test. So uh, if you've watched this one and haven't seen that one yet, go check it out and we'll see what the differences are here between these two different bullet types. So we've got these jug out of the gel block and here's our results and uh, you know, a little disappointing. I mean, compared to the 125 grain Hornady, I mean, we got basically an attempt to expand on the two, three, and five inch barrels. We got some decent expansion out of the six and a half inch barrel. And just one thing to note, the velocity difference between the five inch and the six inch was not very great. Uh, not enough that you would expect the difference that you got in expansion here. And of course, out of the rifle, uh, 
this bullet did really well. Uh, so that was the that was the outstanding performer was this lever action rifle, 20 inch barrel. So that is the Remington Golden Saber. And after this test, I'll say this this bullet probably needs to be loaded in a 38 special plus P or even a plus P plus loading to uh, to get this thing to open up and do what it was designed to do in 38 special. And uh, so, you know, we didn't have that here. Uh, and that, that's, a, that's a look at what loading a good bullet too slow will result in. And like I said, this is a loading I did years ago. This is the first chance I've ever really had to test it in gel block to see what it was actually doing. I have maybe 20 or 30 of these things left in this loading that I may go back and actually pull and work up to a plus P plus loading or just move them over to my 357 Magnum where I know they're going to do well. But anyway, guys, if you have used this bullet before and you got any firsthand feedback on it, I'd be glad to hear that. Leave those comments. Uh, if you got any questions, also leave those in the comments. As always, if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, you know, that's just a way of supporting the page. Feel free to, to copy and paste and share any of my videos uh, anywhere you'd like uh, in the future. That's always a, a good way to help the page out as well. And uh, last but not least, just thanks for watching. And Matt from Kentucky Range Time, we'll catch you on the next one.